During this coronavirus crisis, we've seen battles between the devolved governments and Westminster, debates over whether health professionals have the correct PPE. But one thing that's missing from the national conversation is the question of class and how communities are empowering themselves against the virus, but also against elites that are misusing this critical opportunity to save the population and also reshape the world around us. We spoke to Jim Slaven at Helping Hands to gain an insight to how communities are empowering themselves and fighting back against austerity and disease. Well, Helping Hands was uh, established. It'll be six years come the end of 2020. We were established with myself and uh, Brad Welsh. And uh, we're essentially a community organisation, which is about working class self-organisation. So we have groups in almost all the housing schemes in Edinburgh, right through the city, we have volunteers. And it's about organising people to provide free football, free boxing, all of the activities that kids used to be able to participate in for free, but now have a cost. So we're trying to do that by pulling resources within the community, getting professional people in to deliver the very best coaching, for example, that can be delivered within the housing scheme itself. I think it's interesting because one of the first things you focused on was the issue of class, and that's something that doesn't get spoken about a lot when you think about the political debates, whether it's in Edinburgh or Scotland as a whole. I mean, how important is class and how it's been sort of neglected in the way we talk about Scotland? Yeah. Helping hands for the very beginning, Brad and I both had grown up in housing schemes in Edinburgh, and one of the things that we noticed when we were initially trying to do some of this work around about food collections, sporting activities, was that everything had a cost, but also that everything was reliant on the state, or the state-funded charity business model. And we used to go into the communities initially and try and work with the organisations to see if we could work in partnership to, to provide the services we wanted to provide for kids, and it was incredibly difficult. So then we started to think about the change in nature of housing schemes, about how these traditional working class areas had been hauled out by neoliberalism, and we thought, actually, this model, this system itself is broken. Working class people could do a better job of us ourselves by self-organisation. I'm really interested about your view about you know, the post-COVID world um, and the way in which uh, society is being slowly remade into an even harsher, more ugly version of neoliberalism. Of course, we've got the uh, Danish um, Scots uh, billionaire now who's, who's tops the Scottish rich list. I mean, how do you think that that's going to shape our politics and communities in the future? Well, what's interesting for Helping Hands is that the, the crisis, the public health, the economic crisis, the whole COVID virus has shone a light on what was already existing problems. So if we look back in the time of my lifetime and Brad's lifetime, the working class areas where there would have been that spirit of solidarity, there would have been a, a stronger network of community activity around about kids' activities, for instance, in summer holidays, that's all gone. Now it was a question of why is the council not doing that for us? Why is a charity not providing that for us? It's completely the wrong way around. So we reject that completely and it's all about solidarity, not charity. But this is a longer term structural problem. So we can see from neoliberalism, from Thatcherism, how the state has withdrawn the role back of state services in working class communities. And then there has been the role on of the charity business model to fill that vacuum. It doesn't work. It hasn't worked for decades. And so we believe that the solidarity, not charity model, a working class self-organisation is a much better model going forward. Helping Hands is in many ways the most important and most political thing that I've been involved in. And I've been involved in community activism and community politics for over 30 years. But we are not aligned to any political party at all. So that's the first thing to make clear in terms of our response to electoral politics. The other thing is Helping Hands will not be standing in elections and it comes up all the time in communities about standing candidates. That will not be happening. But I think if we look at politically, the question for me that's interesting is, where's the left? If you look at working class communities that we're operating in, the one people we never come across is the left. Now that is an interesting fact, and it's because so many of them are wrapped up in the poverty industry, in the state-funded poverty industry. When we speak about the poverty industry, what we're really talking about is that relationship that exists between the state, between big business and their funding foundations, and between the charity business model, who are mostly state-funded. It's that relationship, that sort of a network, a power, that exists, that's the poverty industry. And it isn't a filled by bad people, a lot of them with good intentions, a lot of them view themselves as progressive and left-wing. But if they are the left, they're the left in neoliberalism, because they are now filling the vacuum that has been left 
and they're filling it on behalf of the state. They don't work with communities. They don't represent communities. They represent their funders, which is the state. We would encourage people to get behind Helping Hands, not just the organisation, but the idea we have, which is we're working class self-organisation. We don't need to wait in the state. We don't need to wait on charities. Middle class missionaries are not going to save us. It's about working class people getting ourselves organised and getting ourselves active within our own community. That's what Helping Hands is all about. Solidarity, not charity. Thank you.